Hey everybody, it's Patricia and welcome back to my channel and this is the start of my vlog for this week. I'm sorry guys, I uh, didn't vlog Monday. I caught some sort of um, 24 hour bug. I was sick all day Monday, a little stomach bug. Tuesday, I still just didn't feel good. Today's Wednesday, got up late. I don't even, hey Google, what time is it? It's almost 10 o'clock in the morning. I'm drinking a new water I found. It's new to me. Uh, you get this at Kroger. This is their Simple Truth Organic Water and it's uh, mango grapefruit. I can taste the mango and I can taste the grapefruit. So there we go. So let's get that out of the way. I meant to put, I'm going to put some earrings on today. <sighs> Let me tell you. This bedroom is a mess. I won't dare show you it because I was sick a couple days. I mean, I continued doing laundry. It's just piled. Laundry is piled. I've got piles. Brian's got piles. I got my beach bag still with stuff in it from the beach. Um, yeah, I need to clean this room. I don't want to show you. I'm too embarrassed. So I'm gonna do that off camera. Sorry, guys. I'm gonna wear a new pair of earrings that. I got when I ordered that other pair and showed you from Lakeside Jewels. I think it's Lakeside Jewels. Yep, Lakefront Jewels. Lakefront. Ah. Oh. oh, how pretty. These are so pretty. These were my free ones. She does great work. I will link her down below. Please go check her out. She watches this channel, so yay. Um. Sorry, I dropped the back of that earring. Let me get it on. This is just taking too long. There we go. I was talking about my nails. I used to keep, I used to have long nails and then um, cancer. I just had the hardest time growing my nails out. I don't know if you guys remember. They would peel and I thought, what's going on with my nails? I didn't associate it with my medication until I go off the medication and now the this tend to break. I use this hand a whole lot. Anyway, the reason I have my hair down, I want to show you my gray because I've decided to grow it out. I'm going to grow out my gray and I did a thing yesterday. I cut my hair. I cut four inches off my hair. Look how the curl popped up. What I did, uh, I'm sure you've seen this on the internet. <laughs> I, I took a shower and washed my hair. And then I brushed all my hair forward in a ponytail. Right here. Pulled it down and I cut it. And then you take the scissors and feather it like that. I cut about four inches off. I think it did pretty good. I mean, it's not perfect. It's not a perfect hairstyle. I'll tell you that right now. Your hairdresser will know when you go to get your hair cut. Because I always say... I cut my own hair. Oh, I can tell. They'll <laughs> say, but that's okay. Um, I just wanted some of that volume off. Some of the dead ends off. Excuse me. And this time of year, it's so hot here, my hair will just be worn up every day. And that's what I'm going to do today. I'm just going to take my clip and put it on top of my head. Because I can't stand anything like against my face. Especially when I'm hot. So I'm going to put some makeup on. We'll chat a little. This is not a chatty get ready with me. I probably won't show you everything. I'm just going to um, kind of get this video started. I did want to show you guys my hair. Uh, I think I'm ready to grow it out. I can tell this new hair is so healthy. It is so healthy that I just feel the need to grow all the other out. If you know what I mean. I've put my skincare on already. I'm getting low on my night repair. Estee Lauder night repair. The mats night repair. That's my favorite. That is my favorite. So, I think I'm going to, I might end this here.
going to end my vlog with a haul. Um, I think I put in a few clips of us going thrift shopping this morning. Um, thrifts, thrift shopping slash antique mall shopping here in uh, Camden. I went to the farmer's market and I forgot to film anything. I didn't take my camera. Uh, I just had my cell phone, but I forgot to film at the farmer's market. We'd gotten in the car and I'm like, I was going to film. Uh, I don't know. Vlogging is not coming um, as easy to me as fluid. I need to make it more so, but I'm going to work on it. Um, I have no makeup on. I, did, I went out without makeup today. So guys, it is what it is. And I've already taken my jewelry off. After I finish this filming, I've got to clean, clean, clean. It's Saturday, and my in-laws will be here Monday. So, yeah. Let's get started at what I picked up thrifting today slash antique shopping. Uh, I picked up a couple of books. They just kind of, they just, I don't know. They just kind of jumped out at me. One is Making Your Dreams Come True. I don't know. I've never heard of this book. Making your dreams come true. Um, find your passion with America's dream coach, Marsha Weeder. It looked interesting. Uh, I think it's. It looks like it was originally written in 1993, and then this publishing is 99. Um, but yeah, it's not a hard read. I mean, it's something I can whip out real quick. Um, it just interests me. And so I picked it up. So I got that book. And then this book jumped out at me. Here we are. Vintage Cakes. It looks like somebody purchased it at TJ Maxx. Looks like it was maybe $14.99. Originally sold for $24 US. Uh, it has um, vintage cake recipes. Uh, Old timey kind of cake recipes. Butterscotch Dream Roll Up Cake. I've never heard of that, but it just, it's, it just kind of interests me. Maple pecan chiffon cake with brown butter icing. Some of you may not know, I used to own my own uh, bakery. Well, it wasn't a bakery. It was a cake business, and I made cakes. And I would have liked to have had this recipe book back then. But yeah, it's just the old-fashioned Texas sheet cake. I don't know. It just jumped out at me. And these books, I think I paid maybe a dollar a piece for them. I mean, they were really cheap. Uh, next, we went to an antique mall. And I put some film in, some footage in. I put footage of what I actually bought when I was looking at it. And then I also put footage in of some baskets. And one of them, I believe, was my grandmother's basket. And I left all the info for the person who that was there, you know, it's the antique mall where you rent the booth or the area, you know. So I left some info for the person because I'm like 99.9% .9 sure it was one of my grandmother's baskets. And if I haven't told that story, let me know and I will do a whole thing on my grandmother and her baskets. Yeah, this is just... By the way, this is a plastic bag. It says it's a reusable bag. The city of Camden does not allow real, like, grocery bags, plastic bags. If you go to the grocery store here, it comes in paper. Anyway, unless it's a reusable bag. That's why that says reusable. You cannot have a plastic bag in the city of Camden. All right, so I'm going to, I'm just going to unroll one of these. Oh, I picked the good one. It has the info in it. Look, you guys are going to laugh. I don't know, it just... These are so vintage. I gotta get the plastic, the tape off of them. Look at that. Oh, come on, don't look at me. Let's focus in on the glass. Can you see that? I don't know if it's focusing or not. I don't think it is. It's these sexy girls. It looks like from the 50s or 60s. There's a little tag in here. It says, they're the life of the party. Directions, fill glass with transparent liquid, then peek through the keyhole. Now, I'm not going to show you, but they're nude when you peek through the keyhole. 
Wash your glasses in lukewarm water using gentle soap. Do not use hot water. Do not use rough soap. Do not allow glasses to soak too long when washing. Okay. Follow these simple directions and the glasses can be washed regularly without affecting the decoration. I wish I knew the date, but I, I'm, I might Google lens these and see. If I find any information, I'll, I'll list it down below. But I was like, I got to have these. Brian goes, you want those? I was like, yes. I'm going to put them on our bar. Pull this tape off. I just... <laughs> Let's open them all up. Since we're opening them up, let's open them all up. These were um, $25 for the set. She's in green. I don't know if that's going to actually, I don't know if it's going to focus. I love this uh, antique mall. It's right on our main street, on Broad Street. She's got maracas. Look at those. And then, and then when you look through the keyhole, it's their backside, and you can see their naked bones. It's too much for, too much for YouTube. Oh, is this the same girl? Yeah, I got, these two are the same. I just, I'm, I just love them. Oh, and I got two Morocco girls. I bet they were a set of six. Oh, there's only five now, so there's just one of her left. Yeah. I just, I, I thought these were so, so kitschy and unique, and so I, I had to have them. So, yeah, I got those. I'll wash them very carefully, and I will put them in my bar area, and I will keep the directions. And, uh,. I just find them, I find them cool. I just, I knew if I left them, I would just keep thinking about it. And then I would be like, man, I should have got those, you know? So, and then, so, I had to have them. Now, this I picked up for $3.99, and it is full of yarn. So, I thought, I would just, you might not be interested in this. If you're not, that's okay. But I just want to see what's what I got here. Okay. Some scissors right here. Let's see what we got. All right. Oh. I got this. That can. Oh, look, somebody's already. This is what somebody did with that. I don't know what they were doing. It's on cardboard. Huh, interesting. I am not going to be doing that with that. I don't know if I could frog that and use it or if I'll just throw it away. I'll probably just throw that away. Then there's a whole bunch of this. These are nice skeins of yarn. Let's see. These are got to be old. They are... I don't, I don't know what company that is. Let's see if I can get it to, I don't think it's going to focus because of me. I don't know. Looks like it's in Japanese. Yeah, but there's quite a bit of that. It feels like a sport weight, which is good uh, for making it smaller. I'm a gurumi. There's a whole bunch of just this green. There we go. That's all of the green. Nope. One more. That's a lot. Uh, then there's several of these. Spinner and baby and fingerling weight yarn. Okay. That's good. So I've got this tan color. And then I've got one, two, three, four, five of those, six of those. Yeah, in that tan color. Somebody, this is not um, crochet. 
This was done on a knitting machine. I probably need to cut all that. Because there's just bits and pieces left. There's this. And then there's this. And then there's this. And that little bits. Like this little bit of purple. Oh, here's a little bit more purple. And then another one of these. And then I think a bunch of just tangled pieces that I need to get out of here. Not bad. Not bad. I mean, this is a fingerling or a sport weight yarn, which uh, I kind of have been thinking about. If you saw what I've crocheted lately, uh, sport weight was what I made the elephant. So, uh, this, is e this is fingerling. This is even smaller. This is sport weight. I can make something with that, make a smaller not bad for $3.99. Look at all this green, this really nice green. I can make frogs or something out of that, you know? Uh, the This is a f number four worsted weight. Uh, it's not very soft. Um, but I mean, I could, I could use it for something. So anyway, that's, oh, and I have this little bit of whatever that is. That is what I got for $3.99. Definitely worth $3.99 to me. Just this bag of stuff. And that's it. So I'm gonna end my um, I'm gonna end my uh, vlogging. I didn't do all the things I said I was gonna do when I vlogged. I've got to get in that mindset of I just need to take the camera with me. And next week, uh, I will be, uh, my in-laws are coming on Monday, uh, and they'll be here Monday and Tuesday, and then they're taking my son home with, back to Asheville with them, and then on Friday, Brian and I are going to Asheville with the dog, and we'll be up there through Sunday, so I will definitely, definitely try to vlog what I can, the drive, and, you know, whatever I can. I don't know what we're going to be doing while we're up there, but... I can definitely vlog the drive and so yeah so guys thanks for watching if you enjoyed this please give me a thumbs up if you're new to my channel I'd love it if you would subscribe any questions or comments just leave them down below thanks for watching I'll see you next time